Good afternoon. Once again, our top story, a sweeping drug crackdown resulting in a suspected trafficker behind bars today and a large amount of cocaine now off the street. And as we have learned from the Erie County Sheriff just a few moments ago, this is only one piece of a much bigger puzzle. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin picks up the story for us. She's live in our newsroom today. That's right, Keith. An international puzzle. Erie County Sheriff Tim Howard, along with Niagara Falls Police and representatives from Homeland Security and the DEA, all together this morning to announce the yet another drug bust arrest, a continuation, they say, of their joint efforts to keep the community safe. Now, 40-year-old Carlos Perez of Vancouver, Canada, was arrested last night in Niagara Falls and remains behind bars after an ongoing investigation led police to a vehicle they say Perez used to transport nearly half a million dollars of cocaine into the area. Perez now faces two charges, including criminal possession of a controlled substance, which is a class Class A1 felony. If found guilty, it's a charge acting DA Michael Flaherty says could result in significant time behind bars. Meanwhile, Niagara Falls Police Chief Brandel Porto says the issue of drug trafficking is a serious concern here, especially given the bridge. It's always an ongoing challenge. That's why we, may, we maintain relationships with our federal authorities at Homeland Security as well as the Drug Enforcement Administration. We're always watching and working together to stop these activities and uh, any drugs from crossing the border. So I think, again, this is a great example of how we work together to make sure these dangerous drugs don't make it on the street. Now, Perez's arrest is proof Homeland Security also says of how effective intelligence sharing can be, especially when it comes to these sort of complicated ongoing cases. As for Perez, well, he's already been arraigned and he remains behind bars without bail. Uh, the DA's office says they hope that this will move before the grand jury sooner than later. For now, we are live in the newsroom. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News.